Well, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for spending some time with us today. Uh, today, we're going to focus on John 9, verse 2. I'm going to read it here. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? You know, honey, this reminds me of Lithuania, where a pastor had commented uh, at a conference, uh, shame isn't just a problem there. It's the mortar which holds the bricks together. Uh, oh, and yeah, and, I I th that. and that, that was so apt a description because it's very heavy in that part of the world. But shame's here too. Yeah, of course it is. And that, that's just so true. And, I, you know, it reminds me of, um, I think of a friend that I have who tells me, you know, I'm always asking her, you know, to go to church. And she mm. says, well, I will go to church, you know, once, once I feel worthy. Mm. Uh, that right now she feels too broken to be with all the good people at mm. church. You know, I, first of all, I say wow to that. I, I've heard that before, uh, mm. especially when people are just coming out of a really bad situation mm -hmm. and feel very judged by the church. So I, 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 I kind of wonder, is that coming because the church is causing that to, to people to feel that way? Yeah. Um, or is that their concept of God, that they have to um, that God is a God uh, exclusively of just this harsh judgment, and we have to be just right in order to be with Him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I wish people could see church as a space for broken people to find Jesus. Yeah. Um, and and I think we've got some work to do there. Yeah, no, I think that's right. And you know, Jesus entered a culture where shame mm -hmm. was a part of the religious experience. Yeah. We mm -hmm. see it throughout Scripture. Uh, like when the women, uh, like when women were having their cycle, uh, they were considered unclean yeah. and were excluded from religious rites. Yeah, they were. Totally excluded, and that people who had certain illnesses uh, were excluded and couldn't even go to the temple. You know, certainly of no fault of their own, and this created really a big disconnect between them and with mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. But in Jesus, God came near to them, and His shalom broke that that just oppressive power of shame. Um, thanks for pointing all that out, uh, cause it's not just, I was feeling, my gosh, people still feel that way. Sure, it, there's yeah. so much of that. Um, it's like what Paul wrote in second Corinthians 12 it said, for the sake, for the sake of Christ, I'm content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities for when I am weak, then I am strong. Uh, now, Jesus takes the shame others pile onto us and replaces it with his story of glory. You know, that's exactly mm -hmm. what, what was going on with this blind man. Yeah, and it can happen with each of us. Um, and, and those who um, aren't yet in the church, um, it can happen with them as well. Mm -hmm. So let's yep, pray today. Yep. Jesus, someone today is feeling the prison and bondage of shame, mm -hmm. and others have put that on them. In your name, we pray that you release them. Just as you did with the man born blind, do so for someone who in your eyes is so precious and an instrument of your glory. Amen. Amen. Uh, thanks for that, that great prayer. And uh, it's good to have you all with us. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. And until then, have a blessed day, everybody. Bye-bye.